Karibu tena waziri wa elimu daktari Fred Matiangi vile vile ametangaza kuchunguzwa kwa shule kumi nchini ambazo matokeo yake yamezuiliwa kufuatia uh, tetesi za udanganyifu vile vile onyo limetolewa kwa walimu ambao wamehusika na udanganyifu kwamba hatua kali zitachukuliwa dhidi yao no, no, because of one thing. I mean, we want to be responsible people. We are investigating this matter. There are certain aspects we are investigating. We are even taking statements from some teachers. You know, this was holiday season. We could not get some teachers. And the CIT are investigating aspects of this. You know, you don't make sideline commentaries when we are making criminal investigations. So let, that's why I said uh, all the agencies of government are investigating this. And we will make public a report on 18th of January. We have given ourselves two weeks to complete what we are doing so that we can... Uh, make the results for those schools available and make the report available okay. because we believe the cases in those schools are serious enough uh, to warrant deeper investigation. Okay. Yeah. Bonawazire. Mapema hii leo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alipokea matokeo hayo ya mtihani kabla ya kutangazwa Rais alikutana na wadau katika sekta ya elimu alikupokezwa matokeo hayo kabla ya kutangazwa katika shule ya upili ya Nairobi. Ongera sana, thank you so much. Ongera. And thank you for the opportunity to serve. Ongera sana. Ongera nasi. Thank you, sir. Ongera sana. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, sir. Ongera. Now they Tukiachana na hayo mwanamme mmoja mwenye umri wa miaka 43 amefikishwa mahakamani na kuru kwa shtaka la kumnajisi mtoto wa miaka kumi na mine. Chris uh, Cyrus Mackenzie anadaiwa kutenda ama kutekeleza kitendo hicho katika eneo la soko mjinga ambapo alishika alimshika kijana huyo sehemu nyeti na ila mbele ya hakimu George Omido akakana madai hayo. Jamaa huyo pia anadaiwa kuwa na jinsi vijana watano mwaka wa 2015 katika kaunti ya Nakuru. Sasa atasalia katika ulinzi wa maafisa wa usalama hadi tarehe 27 mwezi huu. At Sokumjenga Estate in Nakuru West Division, Nakuru County, intentionally and unlawfully committed an act by forcing a child, namely JKT, I will not mention the names, a child, a boy child, aged 14 years. Kwenye kwa wakazi kaunti ya Garissa wametakiwa kuchangia katika masuala ya mipango ya serikali ya kaunti hiyo akizungumza wakati wa kikao cha kuwahusisha mwenyeji waziri wa biashara katika kaunti hiyo Ado Jubat amesema kwamba baadhi ya miradi ya kaunti iliyokuwa imeanza katika serikali iliyopita haikufaulu kwa kutohusishwa kwa wenyeji. Yes, uh, mistakes that where people are not involved in their planning it really becomes difficult to implement projects. Sometimes it gives us headache because we 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 have learned that we have implemented a lot of white uh, in the previous uh, government. We implemented projects which are of no use to the people. We are not blaming the previous administration for anything. All over the world has been that in people cannot develop unless they are the ones who own those projects by identifying their felt needs, participating in the implementation, and that's the only way development can be sustainable. That is the lessons that have been learned globally, and this is what we have borrowed for us to do our county integrated development plan in line with the Kenyan's 2030 vision and the sustainable development goals. And we put, our executive puts a lot of emphasis in public participation. And for the first time in Garissa County, we have appointed a chief officer who will take a lead role in public participation. Tukenelea na tarifa za matokeo ya KCSC mwanahabari wetu Fred Muturi yuko Kisi na mwanafunzi bora wa mwaka huu Naomi Kawera. Muturi hujambo Naomi amepokea habari hizi akiwa wapi? Si naomi wanafunzi ni 
naitwa defense defense nikumbushe jina lako defense defense mwingine defense kutoka shule ya pangani ambayo alipata alama alipata alama ya A ku point 85 na huko katika kijiji cha Nyosia tunaona kwa wanafuraha wananyusha za tabasamu wazazi wake kwa jumla wana kijiji hapa tulipofika hapa tulipata kuwa ni shamra shamra huku wengi wakirukaruka hapa na pale mamaka akiwa katika hali ya furaha babake dadake hata na ndugu lakini kabla tuende mbele maybe tu, tusikize atatuambia yepi kama alikuwa anatarajia haya na alipokea vipi mtihani huu eh hebu tuelezee huko katika runinga ya KTN na tuko moja kwa moja hewani e, uli ulitarajia utapata alama nzuri kama hii la nilitarajia nitapita lakini si si jinsi nimepita kupata aya hiki. tunaomba nadhi hapo tuna matatizo ya mawasiliano tutarejea huko baadaye. Uh, Tuelekee maeneo ya Kondele sasa ambapo watu wanne wameaga dunia katika moto uliotokea eneo la Kondele mjini Kisumu. Moto huu unasemekana kutokea katika mojawapo ya nyumba za malazi. Waasiri wa mkasa huo unasemekana kukosa nafasi ya kutoka kwenye jumba hilo lindoshika moto. Chanzo cha moto huo bado hakijabainika. Kama njagi ya plastiki nayo. Tuko na mburu na haya. Na sunspot pale. So kifika kitu saa kumi tuliona kama moto ilikuwa inawaka hapa hivi na kuna mtu yote yenye ilishafika hapa tumepata wenye walikata room hapa kama wako hapa hii neba hapa hapa hivi so tuka, nikapigia sima moto nikapigia polisi simu wakaniambia wameshatuma rescue team watu wa sima moto wakakuja tukaanza kusaidia watu wa sima moto hadi mpaka tumepanda hiyo grofa mpaka hadi hiyo grofa ikabomlana sisi mpaka mtu mmoja wetu yuko hospitali Russia tena tukarudi ya pili ndio tukazima hiyo moto so kenye ilianza hiyo moto na yeye tukojua nini ni nini lakini watu wenye walikufa kwa hii room yenye huo mtu mmoja amewekwa hapo nje walikuwa wawili but ni zaidi ya watu sita yenye ile kwa sisi tulikuwa juu hapo tulikuwa tunazima kwa tulikuwa tumepanda hapo juu so ni karibu watu sita yenye wako hapo ndani yenye walikufa kwa hivyo hawajatolewa hawajatolewa hiyo tu moja tu yenye kwa hiyo moja imeanguka pale chini ndio sasa maana ndio wamemtoa wameweka pale lakini bado watu karibu sita yenye wako hapo kwa ni ile roho ya pale na hao wawili walikuwa hapa yenye huo mmoja ameanguka chini na hiyo ingine ni karibu watu sita yenye walikuwa hapo ndani I want to talk to the governor himself arekebishe maneno ya fire brigade kitu ambao tumeona sasa hizi sijafurahishwa nimejua ameingia kwa hiyo ofisi bado yeye ni mgeni na chenye atafanya kwanza a make sure kwamba kila kila ward ikuwe na fire brigade yake because there is no way fire brigade moja inaweza kuja na inarudi kama ina moto na ina hata maji watu wamekufa hapa watu wengi na kama ingekuwa fire brigade wa respond immediately kifo za watu haingefanyika Wanaume kutoka eneo la Olongosua huko Kajiado ya Kati wameacha familia zao wakihangaika na kuelekea kutafuta malisho ya mifugo. Inadaiwa eneo hilo limekumbwa na ukame wa kupindukia na wakati hao wanaume wanaondoka wake zao na watoto wanaachwa taabani kwani hawana chakula na usalama sio hakikisho la kila siku. Eneo hilo kwa muda mrefu alijapokea mvua na sasa wanaishi huko wanasubiri msaada kutoka kwa serikali na wahisani. Wasai wengi wanategemea ngombe na saa hii ni saa ya kiangazi. Hao watu hawana chakula. Wamama sisi tuna empower wa mama na tungeomba serikali. Tungeomba watu wa nchi hii yetu ya Kenya sababu ni watu wana huruma nyingi ni watu waombaji saa ile hii ni, nyakati, ni wakati wa Christmas tungeomba kama wakati huu wa Christmas muweze kukumbuka watu wenye hawana tunaomba wale wenzetu wetu kama watasa kutusaidia kutengenezea bohol na pia chakula ya watoto wadogo na ya all persons sababu ni hao ndio wengine sana wamekuwa affected 
Tuzamadi kufikia hapo sina la ziada asante sana kwa kutazama taarifa za mbio ya KTN mimi ni Mashiri Makapombe tukutane saa moja kwenye KTN leo. This is KTN News.